Hi everybody. Um, I, just, I just wanted to record a little video today to talk about, you're breathing very loud. I just wanted to record a little video today to talk about um, keeping yourself safe when you're out picking up trash, picking up litter, especially if you're a female. These are some things that we have to think about um, on a regular basis. Uh, so I just thought I would give some tips. Because tip number one is get yourself a scary looking dog and bring your dog with you. Your dog will love picking up litter with you and exploring. Even if your dog is uh, the silliest girl ever, they can be pretty intimidating and dogs will be a deterrent. So that could be a really easy thing you can do to um, keep bad guys away. Um, some other things are make sure to wear gloves. Uh, some of the stuff is really, really dirty or sharp. You can get tetanus, cut yourself, uh, needles, all kinds of things. So very hazardous, some of the trash. So make sure you wear gloves. Another thing is make sure you wear really good footwear. These are like super sturdy. Um, you never know what you're gonna be stepping on or stepping in. So wear something that's really sturdy as for footwear. Tip number four is get yourself a garbage grabber or a grabber or a litter picker or a litter thingamajig or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what they're called. Get yourself a good one. Uh, I will show you one that I've been using and I do not recommend it. I've broken two of those so far, so I'm gonna have to get a more sturdy one. Uh, when there's areas with a lot of litter, usually those are pretty sketchy areas, I think. Um, so it's really important to keep yourself safe from people that may wish to do harm to you. So a few tips are, I would not wear earphones uh, at all because I want to be fully aware of my surroundings at all times of someone walking up behind me to grab me. Um, I have had people chase me before, um, not while I was litter picking, but it happens. So um, be fully aware of your surroundings. Don't wear earphones and music where you don't know what's going on. Some of the things I tell you may be controversial to some people. I'm not your typical uh, person. I definitely believe in protecting myself and my family. Uh, so the gentlest form of that would be some um, pepper spray. Uh, these are super cheap. You can get them on Amazon. I'll give you a link to one below. They clip right on and it's safe. It's got a little safety so you flip this up and then push down the button. So I usually carry this on me when I'm out and about or in my purse. Another thing to protect yourself, or it may come in useful if you're picking maybe some fishing line that's caught up on something, is a knife. Again, this is kind of a large knife, but it's got one of these little window breakers on it. Um, it's got a, a cutter there, so you don't even have to open it. You can cut your fishing line. Um, but I would recommend a knife that opens very quickly if you're in a situation to where you have to save yourself. Again, this clips on um, your pants, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just make sure you're following the regulations in your area. I know some knives are too big where you aren't supposed to conceal them, etc. So just a pocket knife usually is fine, but be safe with it. Ow! Just kidding. <laughs> So I guess the last tip that I have, or the last way that you can protect yourself is the most controversial is carry a firearm. Um, follow all the laws, but you have to protect yourself. So if you are carrying a firearm, make sure you know how to use it. Make sure you're well trained in it. Make sure you're safe with it. Get lots of practice at the range be extremely safe. We have to protect ourselves and there are a lot of bad people in this world that want to do harm to you. So this is the stuff that I carry with me when I go litter picking. I hope these tips helped. I hope that you consider some of them when you're out there and stay safe. Bye.